What up? It's Jacob, and welcome back to my channel, Jacob Games, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I believe this is part number six. Um, we're gonna continue the main story. I went ahead and got all the all the wealth and did all the mysteries and got all the artifacts for the region that we are currently in. So uh, we can go ahead and move on to the next region. I would have done the one next to us, but it's like power level 280. And I didn't want to risk anything, so yeah. Let's get started. Uh. Alright, y'all, we are back in it. Let me show you. So as you can see, I got all the wealth, all the mysteries, all the artifacts. Um, let me zoom in. And they got like these little bitty ones. But they don't I mean they have a few little things in them, like um leather and stuff but I've been hunting and all that so I got a lot of that stuff already I'm trying to find that one spot it's over here you hear that so that's a that was one of the mysteries and I was like what is that and um, evidently they got legendary animals that you can fight and over here at that area is a um it's called like a blood elk or something it's huge i'm talking ginormous let me see if i can pull up uh what he looks like real quick because after you kill him you get his head elk of bloody peak yeah dude it is it is crazy uh so i you get something for it evidently but i've see i've been doing crafting and all that and i've i've got 15 ingots so I need a, I got a bunch more of these. Um, yeah, so, but it, it's pretty cool. Ooh, that one on health is pretty good. But I don't have any, uh, I don't have any of the stuff yet. So, some of this stuff you can hang on to is used, is used for uh, crafting and stuff. But, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, there was a like a little warlock mission. Dude wasn't really a warlock. He was, he was trying to help people that were sick, and uh, this guy wanted you to kill him because of it. But you find out that that guy actually killed his sister and not the warlock. So yeah, it, it was pretty cool. It was just one of the mysteries. So let's continue. Oh, and I got the. Uh, I could actually kill him. No, I can't. <laughs> Never mind. But I have the advanced assassination, which comes in handy when you go against bigger enemies. Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? Let's go. I'm ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd, what is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga in England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. Steer Bjorn Jarl. Our men were killed as we patrolled nearby. And the word is, Eivor swung the axe. If the dead could speak, what would they say of their deaths, Wolf kissed? They would tell you how they offered us insults, and how I slew them for it. As the dead <laughs> cannot defend themselves, a bear gelt is wanted. Fifty weight of silver for each life. By law. Fifty weight? You will have it from me. A parent must pay the price of his children's folly. That was generous, Lord. Why England? 
Why throw away all you have for such an uncertain future? Here you could be a king's hero, Eivor. Your name, known all across Harald's many kingdoms. No. I will not be captive to another man's gaudy design. My destiny is my own to weave. Eivor speaks for both of us, father. You gambled your honor, and you lost your family. I hope the trade was worth it. Anger and sadness wrestle for my heart. But I am glad you'll leave this place alive. So I don't know if it's because I did something like off camera to make him say that. I don't remember what the other mission was. So I might have affected the outcome a little bit or something. I'm not sure. Okay, so we can do that. But let me run. I wonder if there is the uh, blacksmith real quick. See if he can't work on some of my armor first. Uh, the world map ain't available, so nah. But we'll just wait. Yeah, none of none of the people are really there anyway. I guess they all come with us to begin with. I think. I'd imagine. You lazy back routes. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar hey, established hey. settlement near the coast. We set sail for that. Draghi, sing a song to lift our hood. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! <laughs> An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent the season in their kingdom of Mercia, a temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England, glory and destiny. To England. To England. Or Valhalla. <laughs> that was just the intro. Six videos in and I finally got the intro screen. at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening. And if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean.
How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? Okay, so basically um, this girl here goes into the animus which is kind of like I guess it can be similar to the matrix um, you go in it and then you you uh, become either Avor and this in this game you become Avor but in other games you become different characters like Ezio you know um, Altair different just different characters um, and they're trying to figure out how to stop Abstergo and the Templars, which is what Assassin's Creed has been all about all this time. So, uh, I recognize Sean. You're I don't a long know. Way from home, Eivor. I don't think I recognize Layla, mm. but she might have been. She might have been in the last game. Like I didn't play. I played some Origins. I never finished it, and I didn't play Odyssey. So I may just be um, kind of out of the loop a little bit. But uh, these people are always like running from Abstergo and stuff. And, Trying to figure out different things. Clues. Mm. I'd rather walk into town than use this. Huh. So let's uh, walk around for a bit and see what we can find. So if you look at this thing here. Did you get my tea? Oof. Mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care I what you call it, Rebecca John. Too. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. Cool. So let's just look around for a minute. That's quite nice. Soothing. Is that uh from the first Assassin's Creed game? I think it is. Can't play no music. So I'll do that. I'll talk to Sean. Hello, Layla. Sean, what do you make of the grave out there? Well, it overturns a few hundred years of scholarship about the first Europeans to set foot in North America. Apart from that, it's just a bunch of muddy bones, isn't it? Can we talk about this thing on my neck for a second? Yeah. Ah, the mood stabilizer. Yes. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I feel good, but I want to make sure there's no side effects. There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals, a passive effect. So the staff doesn't, you know, mess with you. Sean, what happened last year, I, I had no control over that. I tried to resist. I understand. And your old team? Maybe they don't. But we've seen that sort of thing before. Yes, we Still, have. if you want to work with us and get to the bottom of why the world is about to end for the second time in eight years, then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. William's orders. I know. It's not a problem. It's just a few more weeks, yeah? Just until we figure this out. You're right. I know you're right. Sean has been busy. Audio fragments sent from the online location. So that right there is what I thought it was. This is a what they call a piece of Eden. I went through hell to bring you here. It had better be worth it. And I don't rem I didn't play the last game, so I don't know if some of what you're talking about happened in the last game. 
but what I do know is that when the first, when the series first started, you play as a guy named Desmond, and you you you're in you're like taken captive by Abstergo because he's in the he's a distant relative to Altair, who's the first assassin you play as in the very first game, and they're trying to find out why he's important and they're let's have you know, a look that kind of thing. So oh, they got all kind of stuff, and you I'm not even going. I'm not even gonna go through all that but um, the game goes on and you unlock more clues and you gonna put this in the fridge Sean of course in half a minute remember tomatoes go on the counter not the fridge and it's like you just please enjoy your stay remember all the garbage must be packed out and please water the plants once a day yeah I won't remember that you end up playing as Ezio in the second game and you play as him a lot and it's just eventually Juno is becomes a thing which is like a like a god type character it's a lot I, I suggest you just read the Assassin's Creed wiki page and it'll kind of break it all down for you better than I can Sean don't forget to water the plants while I'm under okay I'll add it's, it to the uh, calendar I'll tattoo it on my leg it's similar to the Matrix I guess going in this thing so let's talk to her feeling okay better but I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. I can't promise it won't. I barely understand it myself. It felt like two minds fighting over one brain. It hurt like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels dense, noisy. Could it be the staff interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. So she must have been like a full-blown Abstergo agent. Because they, because Rebecca and Sean have always worked for the Assassins. In present time, they've never worked for Abstergo. I don't think... But that's a piece of Eden and like the story goes all the way back to like the Garden of Eden and how um, Juno and these this other one, this is another like goddess or something that supposedly helped create the world or, or something. And um, Juno ends up killing uh, Desmond and Lucy, who's like the first girl you ever see, who's working in Abstergo, but she's nice like an undercover agent. Bed when this is over. Anyway, I know y'all tired of me rambling. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. She's feeling something from that staff. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go in. No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. Hmm. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now <coughs> I sleep. And in my sleep, sorry. I dream. And <coughs> in my dream, I'm so sorry. I see an end to the doom that will grip the earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. There she is. England, our new home. 
Not a patch on Norway, but we'll make this land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all. I will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory. The Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randy! Dig in your oars! All standing! Have you spotted something? Not yet. But let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood! May Thor bless you all on your way! We will see you soon! Say on! Yes! I'm ready for whatever these green-thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us! Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not, for they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No! No! One second. We'll put these dogs up. I'm sorry, y'all. Get the lay of the land, and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there! Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre! We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them, like our sacrifices to Odin, the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him! That is the difference! Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god! A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off! Yeah, that's what they think. Auto, the people that usually... Look there! What are they doing? Ritual drowning. Baptism, <laughs> Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always! They shape precious metals and cut jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Come to stop the boats. Pull up over there. The way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dad. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. But yeah. What do I do? Yeah, they think, uh, the poor people think Thor would save them. Not really, man. As far as I'm concerned, only, only the Lord's gonna save you. Let's see what I can do. I should not be seen in this area. Alright. Hmm. Wonder how I want to do this. I don't necessarily have to be quiet. I mean, these people, I can handle them, but... Let's see. This chain is 
huge and poorly anchored, it appears. I might be able to shoot it. the other guy oh follow my lead cool got me all right me brother come on oh they got off on down weak yo let me see if it'll do it I'll kill you here we go <laughs> got the legs off in the head that's crazy Man, I did that the first time the other day, man. It threw me for a loop. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> Go ahead and loot this area while we're here. Fill up on health. More of this. There we go. Alright, that's that. Go back in here. There's a bunch of stuff to loot. Did I loot him? No. Yep, I did. Okay. Uh, loot this chest. Supplies. And it was full. Trying to read this note. After conducting several trials, we found that these naval chains hold against the Danish longships. More blockades to come. Okay. Alright, cool, so let's go back to the boat. Can I jump in from here? Yeah. Oh, that was a good jump, bro. Let's continue. A good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Oh, they did that. Not today, Dad. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and the ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Eva Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. Hmm. Have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig tender and juicy. And the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. I took them all, bro. Pleasures, aren't you, Dag? And he is happier for it. <laughs> for my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be remade. We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. The ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead. Where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, to find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find. No. 
Let us get a closer look. All right. So if something ain't right. Looks like it's deserted or something. Gretton Brissera. Those are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, lest they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a yard. And if they are foes, then we fight them all together. All right, let's do it then, man. Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor! On me! <laughs> Oi, what's this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways? You there? Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg, and you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten those men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakrout, and draw your weapon. Oh! Did it. Time to die. Oh wait. Let's finish them. You'll be in pieces. Go. Feels like home on the side of bleed through butter. Where y'all going? Oh, it's like that, huh? Yeah, what's happening? Yeah. Oh, he threw dirt in my eyes, bruh. Filthy. He don't. Oh, I love this move. I love that. Oh, oh. Come on, come on. What you Ah, that's alright. Yeah, stun attack. What's my Ooh. Ooh, what's happening? Y'all dirty, bruh. But y'all also dead. You had your chance to turn away. They passed you by. Yep. There's gotta be something around here, huh? Oh, let's try that uh Caught a couple of them. What? Golly! I ain't got no more food around. I mean, not food. Treasure around here? Oh, it threw him. <laughs> It glitched and threw him. All of you. I want where? no more surprises. Man, where does right. body go? I'll check the long house. Yeah, I see that. That's a jaw harp. Look here. They ate rats for supper. <laughs> Explains why they fought like vermin. <laughs> Oh, his body is glitched. Oh my gosh. No way. No way. Oh man. Well, there's a there's a good old infamous Ubisoft glitch. Glad y'all got to see it on my channel. Let's find out if they got some fools in here. Wait. 
Who are you? Are you with those brigands as well? Sigurd, Dag, in here. Those men had prisoners. You there! Untie us! Let us walk and we will not hurt you! Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did, till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest bidder. But I ripped their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the Sons of Ragna, at Halfdan Jarl's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the Sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me. But it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable. To keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again. Somewhere. What are you thinking? That we hmm. could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Dag? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg, son of Stirbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. Yo, he got a Templar symbol on his, uh... Look at it right From there. From strangers, into friends, into family. The others have arrived. Come. I have a good feeling about this place. Our family, friends, welcome to your new home. Glad it's y'all up there, not me. It's a big settlement, dude. Way bigger than the other one we had. Fine work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. Randvi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here. ...and his unnamed cups of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe. The village of ravens. That's a good name. Hmm. 
I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build. Expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. <laughs> Scarcely arrived, and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, right. my dear. And what else have you found? Okay, so let's... Ooh, there's a lot. Suggested level power 20. So, I wonder if I had to wait to do this. Ooh, my lord. 160. 90. 160. 30. 340 Some bad dudes around here. I have to level up. Level 55. But uh yeah, man, um It's showing the rating stuff now. See, it let me raid in Norway, but it didn't let me How do I uh let's go to Atlas. No. Oh, I don't want to travel there. Mm. But maybe the I wonder if they didn't scrap some plans. So not sure if if it worked. If the rating there worked because uh, it wasn't like available yet, like for the game. You know what I mean? Let's go speak to Gunner real quick and see what he wants us to do. I might save what he wants us to do for later if I can't. Uh, if I can't do it. Like right, not a bad right place, away. Eivor. Not at all. Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good, good. How I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you are the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the oar of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I've found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes. Bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you. And put it to better use than they did. Okay. Oh man, I need just ten more. We lack the needed supplies to build Gunner's Forge. I should gather the crew and go raiding. Okay, so, uh... Where is it? Right over here. Hmm. I'm going to... I'm actually going to save that for next time. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So uh, thank y'all for watching. And God bless y'all. I'm out. Uh.